goodbye. Natasha. Here, hold everything, for now. I'm off. Will you get home? You can't stand on your feet anymore. But it's not my fault that they give birth all the time. And they prefer to do it at dawn. Let me call you a taxi. No. You don't have to. Get yourself selected. It's okay. For now. Help me. <laughs> what happened? Get up. Help me. Help me. Get up. Hold on. Hush, 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 hush. Hush. Be careful. 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 We're almost there. Oh my god. Why is it in what form? Help me carry her. My god. Where to? Which ward? Yes. She's already giving birth. Which ward? Be careful. Have you seen the world since Lee Keen? Just left. Igor Andreevich. Wait. Are you crazy? You'll scratch my car. Andreevich, we have a very difficult woman in labor there. So what? The non-working day is over. And you too. Look, she's very young. Probably the first birth. She is very ill. I trust you. You can do it without me. Igor Andreevich, we can't do it without you. You may need a cesarean. No one agreed with me about the operation. Which one to negotiate? She just came by herself. I'm a professional. I don't work for free. So what kind of person are you, huh? There. Valentina Ivanovna. Well, I'm sorry. Please, I didn't mean to understand you. And, Andreevich, I really need your help. No, that's it. It's too much. I'll fire you, for sure. Please, you can dismiss. Just help the cake. The suit is ruined. Do you know how much it costs? She is already in the delivery room. She has a very serious condition. Valentina Ivanovna, she is very ill. Now Dr. Merzlikin will do everything. He won't do anything, but I won't. I'm calling the head doctor and let him deal with you. That is, what to do? He's losing consciousness. Natasha, calmly prepare her for childbirth. The doctor and I will be right there. Oh, my god. Igor Andreevich, a man is dying there. Why are you struggling? Maybe I'm changing here. Are you completely crazy? You understand that she could die at any moment. And her baby, too. And what? Every day someone dies. The law of nature. And this beggar, who needs her. And you, then, help only those who have rich husbands, right? And if a person has no money, then let him die. What are you hinting at now? The fact that the whole maternity hospital knows that you take money from women in labor. Nobody knows anything, because I don't take money. Yes. Seriously. And what is this? And what is this? An unexpected inheritance from an uncle. So let's go and teach everyone how to work properly. Valentina Ivanovna, this is low. Help the person. She's dying. So, what do we have here? She barely reacts. Yeah. Who will we save first? A baby or a face? Both of them. Save the child. Then we stimulate. We didn't do any tests. Perhaps there is an intolerance. Stimulating. How is she? Does not react. The pulse is slowing down. We connect the equipment quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stimulating, as you say. 
The heart may not be able to stand it, no more. I said, we stimulate. We need to call the resuscitation team. I don't need them here. At the same time, it falls. Breathing is rare. We are still stimulating the stimuli until I grasp it. Come on, hold on. There is. You can't get away from me. Breathe, hold on. Cardiac arrest. I'm doing a massage. So. Scissors. There is. We urgently need an intensive care team. I think it's unnecessary. Milyevskaya, take care of the child. Dying. The birth is over. Thank you all. Take care of the child. I went home, and will talk to you again. Hold on. It has been a long time since we had such a difficult birth in the clinic. Oh, I didn't say. I'm not entertaining, even though I'm a bastard, my hands are golden. But he didn't save the woman in labor. These bums breed like rabbits. You say something like that. Well, what kind of example are you setting for an intern? You saw her. So everything is immediately clear. Probably also brought some kind of infection. And where is Valentina, by the way? Even in the delivery room, he is trying to resuscitate a woman in labor. But it's useless. If Igor Andreevich said that it is impossible to save, then it is impossible. Of course, I do not undertake to argue with the doctor's conclusion. But still, Valentine has a chuka. Baby, cardiac arrest. Of course, we tried science. Then I'll see how she is. Valentina, how are you? Dr. Merzlikin said. How long has it been? About 20 minutes. Tasia, we were taught that time has passed. Just a little more. Come on. I think you did everything you could, Valia. Earned. Do you even realize what you've done? Come on, Masha, come on, run for a doctor. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good girl. We are preparing these for discharge, and here, put things in order. The last pages with analyses are not numbered. Excuse me, I urgently served you, he just didn't have time. Well, what is there? We have people in the intensive care unit, and there is not even a name on the card. Isn't that right, Valentina Ivanovna? The patient still hasn't recovered. Well, what's the hurry? Today, I didn't come to myself. Tomorrow, I ran away to the beer stalls. Oh, who are we treating? A slut came to the intensive care unit to spend the night. Igor Andreevich, do not escalate. Every place in this hospital costs money. Who will reimburse? And why did you decide that this patient would run away? After this homeless woman, you need to clean the intensive care unit for another month. And if a woman in labor arrives in a serious condition? What do you suggest? Don't treat her at all. I suggest taking responsibility for your actions. We urgently need to go to the registry. You spend all your time on this foundling, and you don't care about other patients. And by the way, I wrote a report on you, for the fact that you performed resuscitation yourself. Aren't you afraid that I'll write a report on you? For taking money from women in labor. Oh. Look, what a beautus. Four five hundred. The hero. What about his mom? Still unconscious. Well, it's good that it is, because I could have died at all if it hadn't been for Valentina. Apparently, the mother gave all her strength to her son. Nothing, she'll get out, Valentina is taking care of her. And what was your name? What are you? Is the mother in a coma? Which ones exactly? Alexander should be called. No, it's not a fancy name. Do you know what I want to call it? Alexander is a winner. Oh, right. The winner. He defeated everyone and was born a hero. We vote. And if mom is against it, for us, for all of us, he is a winner. And then you have Alexander the winner. Here, girls, I came up with a name for him. What a good name. 
Alexander. How's his mom? It's hard, but it will live. So, there is a chance to start living anew. What do you mean? So she's a bum. That's what they say. Girls, I've already told you, stop listening to gossip. Think good thoughts. Come on, come on. Well, Alexander. That's great. Everyone, come to our senses. Stop fooling around. So you come on, we come to our senses. Who are you? We open our eyes. What's your name? Where do you live? Eh. Haven't you heard? What? I can't hear any louder. We don't live anywhere. You're a bum, a bum. So we write it down. Is there a father of the child? In the father column we stand by the way. The child doesn't have a father, right? What are you doing, huh? By the way, I'm doing your job, Valentina Ivanovna. Where is the birthing card? Are you crazy? The person has just come to his senses, and you immediately interrogate her. And there may not be another time, Valentina Ivanovna. Stop it. She can hear you. This is a homeless woman and not heard that. She's not a bum. And who? What's your name? Emma. Emma. Yes. Her name is Emma. Congratulations. So we met. Listen, what is more important to you? To fill out your papers or to save a person? And if she dies? How are we going to draw up the documents, eh? Oh, stop it. So, finished playing. Quickly call the Revolutionary Brigade. Run, we're good, quiet, we're not dying, we're holding on. Tina. Valia, wake up. The head doctor of the institution, urgently. We have Peter. Come on, come on. Now. Come on. Yes. Yakov Adolfovich. Have you been summoned? Called. Come on in, Valentina. Such a thing. Igor Andreevich, here he is. I wrote a report that you are voluntarily engaged in treatment. Valyasha, you are not a doctor. Igor Andreevich arranged for a patient in a serious condition to be interrogated with partiality. A patient with no fixed place of residence. This does not give you the right. Gives. I am responsible for all patients. And you focused on one. The rest on the side. So, all right, all right, wait. T Val, you really are somehow too much about this. She's not that. She has a name. Her name is Emma. Yakov Fedorovic, we don't need this woman in labor. Of course, you don't need it. She can't pay you. Well, that's enough. Well, I'm asking. Well, here it is. This. It's already crossing all boundaries. I will complain. I'll call the ministry. Call me. Should I give you a phone number so that you can get your money? What? No phone. Here you are. The theft began. I warned you. What kind of theft is this? It's not good to take someone else's. Someone won't give you a lot of money for this phone. Give it back, please. All right. Let's do this. I'll give you the money. 
Do you want to call? Great. It's good that there is someone. I'll leave you a phone number. But only for you to call. You won't sell it or change the tip. You know that vodka is going to kill you now. I'm not your enemy. You don't believe. Yes. Igor Andreevich, what does this mean? This is my assignment. As a professional nurse, you should understand this. You cancelled almost all of the patient's medications. And that's enough. The woman in labor is in intensive care in a serious condition. And who do you propose to deprive of medicine for the sake of this homeless woman? Maybe an old man? Twelve hours of labor, the second day she can't get up on her feet. And Trofimov, she hasn't given birth yet, and she has low hemoglobin, a weak heart. There are enough medicines for everyone in the maternity hospital. Yeah, that's how it is. Have you heard anything about the limit? Do you want to kill a man to spite me? Oh, how wrapped up. Kill a man. If you have facts, call the police. Let's call right now. Hey, you don't have a phone. This homeless woman probably already changed it for vodka. Igor Andreevich. Yes? There the patient escaped. Which one? Well, this is your Emma. Congratulations. It's a surprise. Emma. Don't be in the city. Girl, you. Emma, don't. Now, listen, you can't walk. Young man, this is our patient. Isn't she violent? She's not violent. It just can't be. Don't. Hey, Lena, listen, listen. What city do you need? Please, you have a son there. What city is it? Val, well, I do not know what to do. Well, this patient and I have already started having problems. Yakov Anatol Favish, we are obliged to put her on her feet. Well, you know, boy, it seems to me that she's standing pretty firmly on her feet. She's in shock. It seems to me that Dr. Nerslikin is right. We need to get rid of it somehow. And what do you suggest? The patient is in a serious condition. Do you want to put her out on the street? God forbid. I'm going outside. God forbid. Well, I just had this thought. Here, here you look, Val. Here the birth went well with us, right? It's all right. But the patient is in a serious condition. So where does it need to go? To the hospital. I'll arrange everything. I'll arrange it. And the baby? Baby's house. There are conditions. There are contacts. There. That's it. Do you seriously want to separate the mother from the child? Valyusha, let's face it. She has already practically abandoned her child. No. Yakov, I'm sure this patient has a man. He probably just doesn't know she's here. Maybe he's gone somewhere. He's gone. He took it and left. A day or two before his wife has to give birth. You know, I don't have such a person among my acquaintances, Valya. Maybe you have. I don't have that. I'm sure she has a family. And I am sure that she will not leave here today or tomorrow. Yes. I'm coming. It was. The patient walks around the wards and asks for money and clothes. Why? Well. Well, come on, come on. Speak as you are. Well. He wants to escape. I'm sorry. Valentina. Emma. Here, Valentina Ivanovna, take a look. Begging in the maternity hospital. We gave everything ourselves. It's not a pity. And then people like her use it. Emma, why did you arrange all this? If you need things, you could ask me. And what am I supposed to do with this? We'll deal with you. Just not now and obviously in another place. Of course, we'll figure it out. And I assure you, this will not be the chief physician's office. Wait to swear. Look, girls, it's bad. Emma. What are you watching? This is your patient. Please run for Olga. Now. And I'm needed in the intensive care unit. Um, hang on. Everything will be fine, we will help you. I don't understand what's wrong with her. Everything was almost normal already. Hold on, hold on, honey, come on. Everything will be fine. Thank you.
Who are you calling all the time? I told you, don't call me anymore. Bad. Something has to be solved with this bomb. What to decide? It needs to be cleaned. Where to? Yes, at least to hell with the horns. And more specifically, transfer her to a regular hospital. The child is sent to the baby's house. All right. But you know what, Igor Andreevich, will you sign this piece of paper for me, right? That there is no threat to the life of the mother and her child. And then I will implement your idea. Do you want to be safe? Yes, you know, it will be somehow easier for me, calmer, calmer, yeah. Did I sign? Yeah. And you will remove Valentina, so that it does not interfere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I go? Go ahead. And the father never showed up. No, no one has been looking for them yet. Probably, he took a dump and threw it. I know such people. First I love you to the grave, and then don't call me anymore. I hope that's not the case with them. They'll be fine. Thank you, Vera. Valentina Ivanovna, is the work worth it again, and are you distracted by all sorts of little things? A child is not a trifle, doctor. You will argue elsewhere. Take the child. And from now on, I ask you not to go to the wards with someone else's child. Why be so upset? Everyone is alive and well. You can't save all the abandoned ones. He's not a castaway. He has a mother. And me. Sorry, girl. He doesn't pick up the phone. But you have a son. The girls suggest calling him Alexander, if you don't mind. Do you want me to help you raise him? And when Sasha grows up big, his dad will start calling you, we just won't pick up the phone. You'll meet someone else again. Handsome, rich, young. I don't want to be rich anymore. There is already. You mean the father. Father's name is Igor. But he doesn't know that he has a son. As soon as he finds out, he'll be right back. Alexander Igorovic. It's very beautiful. Igor Dedovskik. Have you heard such a name? Grandfathers. Of course I have. Scary family. They say they hold the whole city. Ella. Tell me, do you have any relatives besides Igor? Don't you believe that Igor will come back to me? Me, of course. I just want to get in touch with your parents. Don't need Igor. Emma, where are you going now? You need to gain strength first. Well, I'm up to now. I'm up to now. He can't do it now. Listen, you're very weak right now. You can't go anywhere right now. Does he love me? Of course. You'll love it when you see it. You'll love it. That's it. Don't worry. Don't worry. You need to gain strength in the beginning. So, Valentina Ivanovna, come on, are you in the intensive care ward again? What is it? I looked in for a minute. For what minute? How long have you been awake? You need to rest. I feel great. Look, you don't have to tell me that you're feeling great. Do you understand? I always set you as an example to everyone. 
Yes, well, what happens if you don't rest? You may make a mistake. This will affect the reputation of the clinic. Why? Well, I've never been wrong before. Do I have to post an order about your rest? What are you laughing at? Immediately go home and rest. And tomorrow, no earlier than 8 in the morning, show up here, and we will load you with such responsible work. Natasha, so if you see Valentina Ivanovna here, yes, once again, personally telegraph me. Personally, that's it. That's it. Go home immediately. There is. Immediately. Come on. Not to eat, but to sleep. Can I give you a car? No, thank you. No. Home. Here, Natasha, you know what a story. And where are you taking her? She is being transferred to another hospital. Does Valentina know? And what does Valentine have to do with it? Is she our head doctor? No. Valentina Ivanovna, people like you should be loaded with work, so that they don't wander around the corridor without doing anything, and they didn't ask stupid questions. Understand. Understood. Step march to work. Hello, hello. Yes, Allah. Valia, she ran away again. What? I am now. I'll be right there. Well, yes, I told him I could help. Yes. Yes. But what will happen, must. I rolled out the amount to him, let him think. Are you already a limitless person? Aren't you afraid he'll kill you? Don't you think he understands that if he touches me, his father will tear off his head? Wait, what are you honking at me for, huh? My wheel is more expensive than your car. Are you tired of living or what, uh? Hey, I had nothing to do with it. It's her. Igor, it's me. I've been trying to call you. I told you, it's over between us. Igor, your son was born. What? What son? I've been trying to call you. Okay, get in the car. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
E, and who will pay me? So you didn't see the patient run away, did you? Yes, from where? I went to get her medical records. When she came back, she was gone. And you didn't do anything? Yes, I thought it was the orderlies who took her to the car. She thought, I was thinking. Well, that's it, that's it, that's it. What to do now, what? Now we need to call the police. That's it. What happened? What happened was what was supposed to happen. Your pet has escaped. Why did you run away right away? Okay, that's enough. Valya, stop protecting her. I'm calling the police. That's it. Yakov Adifovich, why the police? So we have theft, robbery here. What are you talking about? What kind of theft? What kind of robbery? Money, things. Now we are making out an application. Are you done? Yes, I wrote everything. What statement? What are you talking about? I just refuse this one. Valentina, wait. No. Wait. No. Valentine. Valentina, the racks. Stop, we are, after all. How long can I talk? Do you see what happened here? What a mess is brewing. Well, well, we didn't have enough police here. You understand that this is a mistake. How would you understand? I am entirely on your side, Valya. Well, well, theft is a very serious crime. What could she steal here for? What? Let me make it up to you. What about her baby? We will give the baby to the baby's house. Today, everything and the problem is removed. So, come on, calm down, come on, Valya, Valentine, hold on, hold on, calm down. What do we need with you? What do we need? We need to work with you calmly, to give, so to speak, life. Well, so come on, get yourself cleaned up. Here, I'm going to deal with the police. So what am I supposed to do with you now, huh? Alexander and I love you. Alexander? Is this your son? Stupid name. It means winner. I think you'll be happy. Okay, don't whine. You're getting in the way of thinking. What is it again, eh? This is still not enough, that damn thing. Emma, where have you been? I'm going on a honeymoon. And I won't come back. What about Sasha? You'll take care of him. But you're a mother. I can't do it anymore. Promise not to leave Alexander. I promise. You should have a rest, Valentina Ivanovna. Where did you get your children from? Gratitude. Me. 
You don't mind being grateful, do you? No, I don't mind. Did I say something in my sleep? Yes. By the way, this is a very bad omen. Today, unknown persons fired at Jaeger Dedevskikas car. His body has not been found, but there is reason to believe that he was killed. His father, businessman Pyotr Dedevskik, is considered by many to be connected with crime. The motives of the murder are still unknown, as well as the perpetrators. Gang fights. What did they say? Grandfathers, yes, Igor Dedevskik, yes, yes, it seems so, was the woman in the car. Yes, it didn't seem to be, and what? Your friend Valentina. No. No. Why were you so worried? Well, no, it just seemed. Something sounded wrong. Well, what will please you? What will please you? The body was found, not identified. Who shot? They fled in a black BMW. But the car is stolen. So can you promise me that you will find them? We threw the best forces. So, no. I understand you're into this now. You know. What do you understand? My son is the only heir. Understands. I'll do my best. Please accept my condolences. I don't need your condolences. I need a son. Or at least those who killed him. Condolences. Yes, yes. What happened? Yakov Dolfovich, I want to adopt a child. Ah, uh, well. That's commendable. Commendable. Have a seat. Only if you've come to invite me to be the godfather, I can't. Unfortunately, I don't have your faith. No, I haven't thought about Christina yet. Wait a minute. You. No. Do you want to adopt this homeless woman's son? His name is Alexander. Alexander. That's fine. But he has a mother, and if she comes back... No, he doesn't have a mother anymore, and there's no father either. Fingers, I honestly don't understand you. One minute you're telling him he doesn't have a mother, the next you're telling him the exact opposite. Well, I, of course, I'm just, you know, I'm putting all these fantasies of yours down to your fatigue. That's all I'm tired of. Yakovich, today his parents crashed in a car accident. I just saw it on the news. I understand you have a problem. You can't give birth yourself, but you understand that adoption is a very long, very simple procedure. Well, very much. I understand. That's why I'm asking for your help. Please help me with the paperwork. But it's very... all of this. Although... Listen, come on. And let's draw up these documents as if you yourself gave birth to a child, eh? Is it possible to do this? Well, why? No, of course, if anything happens, I will say, I don't know anything, I haven't heard anything, I haven't seen anything, but at least there won't be any problems with paperwork. 
I agree. Only, Valechka, I beg you very much. Please talk to Dr. Merzlikin. I'll talk to him myself, too, I'll persuade him, but you'll make up with him somehow, won't you? Well, you know, he'll write to someone again, it's like you're writing all the time. Don't worry, me, I know how to talk to him, everything will be fine. Yes, yes. May I? Why do you need me? Did you miss me? I wanted to ask for your help. Do you want to ask for a child? See, I see right through you. Intuition. Intuition or is it just the head doctor who warned you? Forging documents for a child is a big crime. What if someone finds out? No one will know. And a child needs a mother. And if someone reports forgery to the competent authorities? I hope it won't be you. You're asking me for help after all the nasty things you've done to me. Are you confusing me with anyone else? No. Igor Andreevich, you are an excellent doctor. And a terrible, disgusting man. A terrible bribe taker. And after that you want me to help you. Why would that be? Have you checked your black notebook with black accounting for a long time? It was very interesting to read it. You conducted it in such detail. Last name, first name, Bolda, date of birth, even the amount you were charged. And who you shared it with. They searched my office, give it back. Well, what are you? You understand, this is a criminal liability. Prison. And what if the competent authorities find out? Yes. I did not expect such meanness from you, Valentina Ivanovna. I hope we have an agreement. Will you help me? I love you. I will destroy it. Well, where's the baby now? They say the baby's house will be given away. It's better to be an orphan than with such a mother. Why is it an orphan? But how? The father is gone, the mother has run away. That's why it was asked to give birth. There is no such mother by conscience. Listen, stop wailing. If you can't help, shut up. And how can you help here? I won't take someone else's child. And me, especially with such heredity. Okay, girls, I'm off. Hello. And here comes our Alexander. Hungry. No, Alexander came to say goodbye. Bye-bye. We're going home with mom. Which mom? She ran away. I'm his mom now. That's how lucky the guy is. And I'm so lucky. Well, how are we at Derry now without this hero? Maybe I'll feed him one last time. No, thanks. He changed it recently. Listen, take diapers, sliders here. You don't have anything, but Alexander will need it. Girls, we can't take anything. A native of the truth. Sort it out. Well, Igor Andreevich forbids the truth. You know, it may be that he forbids you, but it is impossible to forbid us. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Sashenka will miss you. For now. For now. Goodbye. Yes. It's important. What? More important than the death of my only son. Igor has a son. Who is this? Did you hear that? She said that Igor and son. Some girl called Jaeger, said she was going to give birth soon. Well, he sent her. How long ago? Recently. Do you know her? So that's it. 
Scratch all maternity hospitals, show them Igor's photo and find me a grandson. Come on, well. Yes, yes. We have a new problem. Now what? The police called. They said they had received a missing child report. Wait, well, what kind of statement? Mother couldn't apply, she died in a car accident. And I don't know anything else. The devil pulled me to get involved in this adoption. By the way, I helped you too. So I'm an accomplice, too. Well, yes. And now this Dr. Merzlikin here will turn us in at the first opportunity. We need to destroy all the documents on this child. This will arouse suspicion. If these documents are missing, well, they will immediately think of us. No, this. Then you need to destroy the entire archive. Are you out of your mind? Destroy the whole world. Destroy the whole world? What are you? Well, do you have a better offer? No. I'll do everything. Still for you. You'll do everything. and leave the room immediately. Immediately tighten the room. Building and fire. That you made a mistake. Hello, Valentina Ivanovna. Oh, Vasily Stepanovich. Hello, they scared me. Well, what are you? There is no need to be afraid of the police. We're protecting you. Yes, and thank you for that. Did something happen? Are the spouses not greeting each other again? No, no, not at all. Thank you very much for your help. Of course it's mine. And what? It's nothing. I just don't remember you being pregnant. Well, you'll think about it. When was the last time you saw me? I'm at work all the time. Well, yes. Excuse me, Valentina Ivanovna. I'm a precinct officer. I need to know everything. Of course I understand. If you want, we can come to my place. I have all the documents for Sasha there. I'll show you. No, no, what? I know you. Let me help you with the stroller. Come on. Young man, a dressing gown does not give you the right to break into my office like this, you know, unceremoniously. I'm listening to you. What do you need? Who are you? The investigator. Skuratov Yuri. Or an investigator. Oh, you. I get it. You're probably talking about the fire, right? Tell me. Aramenko Valentina Ivanovna. Does she work for you? How does it mean it works? She's one of our nurses here just. Does it still work? 
And what happened, exactly? We are trying to find out where Valentina Ivanovna's child came from. Yakov Fedorovic, what happened? Are you crazy? Devachka, I'm crazy. I have never driven around the city at such a speed. What happened? Tell me, Val, have you ever thought about taking the baby somewhere in nature? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. How? Well, fresh air, yes, yes, fresh village milk, korovkino, potatoes, greens, onion. What kind of greenery is this? What are you talking about? Valyasha, an investigator came to me. Well, I was asking about your baby. For Sasha. Do you have a few more, or what? No, well, I didn't tell him anything. I didn't tell him anything. That's right. It will be right when you leave here out of harm's way, wherever the eyes look, the sooner. Vanechka, bring me some water. I'm going to faint, honestly. Now. Can I just have a glass of water? Now. Sit down for a minute. Now. Yakov Afevich. Oh, thank you, thank you. Please don't worry. I think I think I know who's behind this. I'll try to figure it out. How it's all out of time. How is it all? Thank you, Vanechka. And how it's all at the wrong time. How it's all out of time. Hello? You stole my baby. Who says that? Bring my baby back. Um, is that you? Why are you asking? You've changed a lot. But it's still me. It's still my baby. You know, you don't look like the woman I recently gave birth to. You know, you too. Do you remember when I gave you my phone? I remember everything. Do you remember what I asked you to do in the ward? See, you don't remember. Give me back the baby. Sasha is sleeping. He ate and is now sleeping peacefully. We gave him all the vaccinations. Imagine, he's not afraid of injections at all. Aren't you curious about your son? Very interesting. But this is my son. I'll take it anyway. Let's go to my place and have some tea. Do you want to buy me? With what? Tea? Come on. Sasha is home alone there.
Why are you standing there? Take him in your arms. Chica Chica. Here you go. Be afraid. It's not scary. The main thing is to support the head. Op the second hand under the ass. Are you testing me? Yes, no. You've become something else. Not like in the hospital. Well, that's not surprising. I'm in shock. Nervous breakdown. She's recovered now. Got a drink? Oh, no. Well, for friendship. I'll find it now. What? Fell asleep. Let's go to the Brutter shaft. Yes, I somehow. Come on. The worst of us is a drunkard. God, you're so cozy, so beautiful, calm. It's like I never do that. You can stay the night if you want. I want to. Sasha. 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 The police. Police, my baby was stolen. Yes. Well, my god, why do I need all this in my old age? They don't want to talk to you, Valentina Ivanovna. Maybe he's on his rounds. I am sure that Yakov Adolfovich, he will definitely confirm everything. Oh, so he was supposed to confirm to us that you were pregnant. Yes. Tell me, why didn't the neighbors notice your pregnancy? Maybe they just didn't pay attention. Yes. And you know that we have received a statement about the abduction of a child and accuse you. And who wrote this statement? Gromov, I have an interrogation. Wait for your interrogation. The boss fired me. You're going to stink for two kilometers. You talk, I'm Thomas. Well, you're my best friend. You've broken our friendship. These sleep it off. Even when I'm drunk, I'm the best detective in this office. There was once. Well, talk, mind. Well, he'll listen to you. That's enough. I won't ask for you anymore. Your best detective. Not a detective, but an investigator. The best. Was. 
Vodka. Well, Valentina, have you figured out how to prove that this is your child? No, not yet. All right, you think about it for 15 minutes, and then I'll come and you'll tell me everything. And if I can't prove it in any way? Then we'll assume that you stole the baby, and I'll have to detain you. What are you going to do? No, no, I don't know what to do. At first, the investigator asked questions, then Valentina was taken to the police. Just don't involve me in your affairs. Ours. Our common affairs. And what can they show you? Us. Both of us. Well, all right. They have nothing on us. The archive burned down. Documents for the child were not found at Valentina either. Well, what can they show us? What? What? Well, at least the fact that we allowed Valentina to take someone else's child. And she took it herself. We didn't notice. But they didn't fly like that. Reprimand, no more. Drown Valentina. But we will save ourselves. Oh, my god. And if Valentina tells them everything? So it's her words against ours. If necessary, everyone will confirm that Valentina did not give birth to a child. You? Maybe that's what. And that's it. What, what are they pressing for? For drugs. Why for drugs at once? And what? A bag full of pills, no one knows what. What, what did you drink? Without even asking. I don't care anymore. What if I'm innocent, but I can't prove it? That's what everyone says. You're going to the hold, girl. The hold? Is it to jail? I can't go to jail. I have a baby. He was kidnapped. Help me. You're the best. The head is gone. Are there no such pills yet? There is, of course. Only you can't have too many of them. Will you help me? Are you really the best detective? You helped me. Come on. Where to? Don't be afraid, this way for us. Are you sure you can go there? Come on quickly. Well, I've already come. This is the only bar in town where I still get a drink. Wait, you. You promised to help me. I got you out of the police. 
Me, help me find the child. I'm not a detective anymore. Yes, yes. Yakov AOL Favish, hello. I can't get through to you. Hello. Please. I have a problem. I lost the documents for Sasha. This is very bad. Documents, Valyasha, can be treated with caution. I understand. I want to ask you to make me a duplicate certificate that Sasha is my son. And we are not making a duplicate now. Our archive burned down, you know. I know that. I was just thinking. Maybe you could restore this help for me as an exception. With an exception, we are not doing it now. I'm Kay Wolfovich. I don't really understand. You yourself offered me this option and helped me arrange everything yourself. Helped. And now I regret it. Why are you sorry? An investigator came to us. They're looking for a missing child. I know, the investigator interrogated me too. And I warned you, if they interrogate me, I didn't give out any certificates. And I don't remember anything about any child. I warned you. Yakov Adolfovich, you understand that if you don't give me this certificate, then I can simply be put in jail. And if I give you a fake certificate, then they can put me in jail. That's it. Valentina Ivanovna. Come to me. Immediately. You again. Welcome back. Come on, come on, drink, drink, I'm telling you. Drink, I'm telling you. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Well, well, well. My son was taken away from me. Do you understand? I understand. I understand. I really understand. My wife went to her boyfriend in another city. And she took his son. Forever. What about you? Became. 
Drown yourself with work, vodka. Why? I love you. I work in vodka. <sighs> and I love my son. You still have everything ahead of you. Tell it to yourself. <sighs> All right. That's not what I meant. Simple. Your son can still be found. What's your name? Val. And I'm Gromov. Just Gromov. Gromov. Help me find my son. Me. I'll pay if I have to. It will be expensive. And then I have an apartment. I just need to find someone who will buy quickly. I'll give you everything. But there is one muddy type. But he won't give much. It doesn't matter. Come on. Let's go. Well, you have the power of attorney, the keys, and I have the money. Everything is fair. Well, there is, of course, one more problem. Such a problem. Parquet. What is parquet? Well, what about parquet? Well, you see, we need to put a new one. We drop another thousand. Are you crazy? Where else to dump? Yes, there are repairs for a year. Well, look, the doors need to be redone. And anyway, this is all, well, damn, everything is in such a terrible state. Let's throw it off. And? Okay, good. Here, consider it agreed. So, a little stream for you. Sign here and here. And this is for you. Great. So, what? It's good that it is. Yes, that's it. Is everything okay? Of course. We walk. I need to pack my things. What things? There will be cops here. You went. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Have a nice day. Don't be afraid, we're not after money. We need Valentina. What are you doing in her apartment? And I am the new owner of this murdered dwelling. Here I have all the documents in order. Power of attorney, purchase and sale agreement. Do you know where I can find her? I have no idea, but certainly not here. I'll change all the locks in an hour. Was the baby with her? No. 
I definitely noticed the child. Well, look. See for yourself. Come on in. It may not develop. I live alone, I can cook scrambled eggs. I can't do the rest. You can stay with me for now. No, thanks, me. I'll come up with something myself. She'll come up with it. The only place they won't be looking for you is here. Don't be afraid. I won't bother you. As a rent, you can clean the apartment. We probably need to hide the money somewhere. Do you know what it is? It's not what you think. Give me a purse. More reliable than in a Swiss bank. If anything. Do you know where the key to the safe is? Sit down already. Thank you. Take a mop. The nurse took the child away. We went to her house, but she sold the apartment and ran away. Find her at least from under the ground. Take the child away. We'll find it. Only she doesn't have a child. How not? Where is he? Some woman took it. So find her. Find it. Which one of them? Both of them. And why the second one? Because one woman is the mother of a child, and I will tear the second one with these hands. Come on. Having fun. Outsiders are not allowed here. That's all I took from you while you were playing games here. Who are you anyway? I was hired to check the security. I'll roll a card on you, they'll give me a bonus. Can we make a deal? Let's try it. You have a camera outside showing the exit from the house opposite. Let's say. Show me this morning from 4 to 8. Did your wife leave you and take the child away? You print me this face and the number of the taxi. I see. Didn't we agree? Of course, we agreed.
This I take away for moral damage. It seems similar. Well, it seems that she was somehow different in the hospital. It seems like you can't tie it to the case. It's definitely not her. Tell me honestly. Do you just want to keep someone else's child? Chroma, you have to prove that this woman is not his mother. Well, maybe we'll do an analysis. DNA analysis will definitely show that the child is not yours. What if she had taken your son? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I... I wouldn't have thought, I would have said. I'll find her. I know the number of the taxi she left in. I'm with you. <sighs> Shall we take a ride? Look for someone else, the car is in trouble. Do you know how long they give for kidnapping a child? Who are you? Fifteen years. For complicity, ten. And what kind of abduction? You gave this girl a lift this morning. Well, yes, and what? She ordered, I arrived. It's a taxi. She stole the baby. So how should I know? I drove them and that's it. And not in business at all. In another place, you will answer whether you are in business or not. Got it? Do you remember where I took you? I remember. Let's go. Let's go. On the balcony. Where are you going? I want to take Sasha. On what basis? It's not her baby. Do you have any documents? No. So you're not yours. She also has no documents. And if there is? If there is, then they are fake. Fake arguments against your nothing. All right. Let me just talk to her. I'll persuade her to give me Sasha. And if she doesn't give it back? If she doesn't give it back, I'll take it by force. Okay, go ahead. Only you have to show something first. You see, the camera, there's another one right here on this building. When you get out, they'll record how you stole the baby. So there we will wait until she goes for a walk and pick up Sasha there. No. Two big guys are sitting in a black car. They don't do anything. They don't smoke. They don't talk on the phone. Do you think it's her security? Yes. That's not all. She understands that you will come for your son. She was preparing for your arrival, but you weren't. What to do? We must wait. We need to find out as much as possible about her. Security. Habits. Schedule. Make a plan. Then another plan. Then act. How much time do we need for this? A week. Maybe more. The main thing here is not to rush. If we make a mistake, we will be in jail for a long time. If you want, go. So they didn't find anyone again? No woman, no child? No. 
We want to show that photo, but... No one has seen anything and no one knows anything. We won't find them quickly. If life wants to, you will find it. We are doing everything possible, but... I don't need your fairy tales. I need a grandson. It's me who should tell him fairy tales. Yes. We must finally meet. And who says that? It doesn't matter. I want to tell you about your grandson, Igor's son. Oh, clean. Have you been drinking again? And he didn't drink. My friends and I were just washing your advance. If you have another drink, I'll find another detective. I have something interesting. Now I will improve my health. You're not my wife. How can you drink? While Sasha is with her, she doesn't need him at all. My ex didn't need my son either. She only took it to annoy me. Listen, you can drink as much as you want. When you return Sasha to me, you promise to help me. Her. She'll be at the mall tomorrow. She has an important meeting there. How do you know? I have informants. So what are we going to do? There's nowhere for the guards to hide. It will be visible. But we will also be visible. There are cameras everywhere. All right, let's come up with something, make up. We'll find wigs, we'll glue mustaches. A mustache won't suit you. <laughs> She'll recognize you in a wig anyway. What should we do? I'll go. And you'll cover for me. If there is a tale, even to know. All right, and how will we take the child? We will not take the child. We'll just see who she's dating. Is that your whole plan? Do you want to take the baby? Of course I want to. You do as I say. Well, what was it? Enter through the service entrance. That's where the bathhouse is. We were expected. Come on, I went on a case that I do not know. It feels like we're hiding, so we're just walking. Listen, maybe we can pick up Sasha. Don't even think about it. What else can I help you with? Shake the baby. Sorry, we're not supposed to. I don't know how. Swing, she said. The buyer is always right. Come on. I hate it when babies cry. Why are you crying? Cry. Cry. What is it? You need a diaper change, right? Woman, thank you very much. What are you doing, huh? Listen, well, we agreed with you that you only watch. If it wasn't for you, I would have taken it by now. If it wasn't for me, you'd be in the police right now. There are cameras everywhere. 
What are you? I'm sorry, it's just that Sasha was crying so much. You don't understand that if you are suspected, tomorrow your portraits will be hung around the city with the inscriptions wanted. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, he just felt bad, he was crying, and I couldn't pass by. It's Sasha. My son. These are the ones I take. Here. And you say it's not supposed to. Let's go punch. Yes. Wait here. Gramoff. Stick out. It's nice. Hurry where? No. Look, you look good. Haven't had a drink yet today. Don't you believe it? Come on, 300. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm hanging around, pussy. You know, I didn't believe someone, I believe you. Give it to me, Sasha. Hi there. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Why do you need him? And what should I do with it? Throw it out, or what? You've already left him. Well, I quit, and then I wanted to go back. And something like that. Look, it's not your son. You don't need him. Give it to me. Just give the baby away. Well, it's the most expensive thing a woman has. But you understand me. I sold the apartment. Me. I'll give you all the money. You. Do you even understand what you're saying right now? Do you want me to sell the baby? It's a crime. But you don't love him. Do you recognize it? It's the first time I've seen it. I left it in my office. You opened it, let it out. It's the first time I've seen it. Well, you give. Listen, I talked to the chief. In a dead room. All right. You're right. What? Take him away. What do you mean? Well, literally. I tried being a mother, I didn't like it. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. I'll just take the pacifier. Bye bye. Sasha. Well, be healthy. Have a nice day, Nikolai. Oops, Valentina Ivanovna. What a meeting. You'll have to come with us. No, this is my son. This is my son. This is my son. Well, I'll tell you. Hello. I called you. Well, what did you want to tell me? I have a son. This is your grandson. What can you prove? Can you do a DNA test? His father is Igor. Are you sure you're his mother? You can do my DNA analysis, too. I'll call you dad, do you mind?
Welcome. Now it's your new home for the next six years. And I'm like this. And I'm like this. And here I am. So. And I am. Matt. What kind of Matt? That's right, mate. Well, I give up. You've won. Well done. After all, my name is Alexander the Winner. The right name for my grandson. Sonechka, I think they've come to visit me. Walking, go feed the fish with Igor. The general hasn't been in for a long time. Is there a lot of work? Of course. A lot of important paperwork. There's no time to catch criminals, Dasha. Why so? And how? Five years have passed since my son was killed. And what? Is there any progress? Well, there's nothing to brag about. No one has been found yet. But we are doing our best. So you're not doing enough? Sooner or later something will come up somewhere. Someone will brag to someone drunk, someone will rat, someone will fly in a small way and tell them to cut down the lines. It's a long time. As they say, revenge is a dish that is served cold. Yes, and I have something here that doesn't cool down. Five years have passed, it's still burning here. I would now tear them with my own hands, with my teeth. You are lucky, you have a grandson. Yes. This is my winner. What are you doing? Be quiet. Hush. Be patient. Don't help her. She couldn't survive here anyway. She couldn't be saved just a little bit more. Listen, we went into business with him. And they won't save you. Is that clear? Quiet. Quiet. Here you go. Here. Take it. Hold on to me. I'll help you. Come on. Hold on, hold on. Be careful. She didn't settle me, and no one has died yet. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened? She's dying. Yes, it seemed to you. He's bleeding. So what? I urgently need surgery. Do you want to send Zayechka to a regular hospital? And if he runs away, you don't let go. She's going to die. He'll pull through. He's coming soon. We urgently need a car. We have a person. Don't need any car. Cancel. I told you, we treat on our own. All right. Take medicines. Sonechka, hold on. Do I want to stay with my grandfather or go to the pool? Don't be naughty. I said we're going shopping. Wave to grandpa. Bye grandpa. Just not with such a sour face. And with what? You and I are a happy family. Smile. I'm taking you on an exciting shopping trip, not to jail. Bye, Grandpa. You shouldn't have gotten into this. She was dying. It was planned after all. If it had ended, there would have been no problems. Why her? 
They say he often runs to the head of the colony, Knox, probably, and she was sentenced for that. Now you've been sentenced, too. You gnaw, you've become cross. And I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. It's better not to go to the dining room yet. And in the shower, too. I'm walking in grandma, and you're a giraffe. You're a giraffe yourself. Bang. A candle falls. Listen, you're bothering me. Can you run somewhere else? Emma Georgievna, good afternoon. We have a new collection now. Please come in. Hi there. How are you? You bet. You're better off. What are they doing to you? So there was a reason. Not true. There is no such guilt to collect a person's life. You don't understand. I don't understand. I want to understand. For what? It doesn't matter anymore. Still at home. Tit, listen to me, please. You're not going to die. Do you want to bet? Scared me. Fall down. You're dead. What are these, couples? I just got up. And you? Why are you running around here alone? I'm here and you want to. And you? And I drink. What is it that stinks from you? I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell Grandpa to fire you. I don't work anywhere. Then let's play. Let's play. I can only play detectives and robbers. Yes, someone does not want to play. Where are your parents? There. Will you introduce me? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Listen, what's dirty in the barge? I'm not smearing today, what, and who's? Graph on the wall. I said dirty, so dirty. So, we need to get out. Or did you get a lot of sleep in your hospital overnight? Okay. I'll clean up. And I'll help. Just that. Bring a bucket and a mop from the shower. Yeah. I'll get it. Mom. 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 My friend and I played a pig in Robbers. And who else is this? He says that he is a professional drunk. What are you staring at? Do you need an autograph or a written thank you? <sighs> Subject name. How do you know? So take it away. It's a beautiful name. It doesn't suit you. So who am I going to play with now?
Mix this dough. In Vita, you will be in her place. Something. Good. Micah, rinse her out. The tit must die. And she will die. I said it. I will treat. You will die. Don't kill. Kill. Decided to swear to build. Live for now. You're on duty at the barracks today, okay? Now you are the eternal duty. I said it. I'm tired of painting graphs. Oh, yes, I'm so tired. It's the same thing every day. Restaurant, boutique, massage. Maybe go somewhere? There is plenty of money, but zero happiness. Well, do you understand me? Yes. Mom, let's go for a swim. I don't want to sunbathe. Then let's play. Can't you see I'm busy? With what? None of your business. Go run somewhere else. You never want to play with me. Listen. Go away. You're blocking my son. Hello? Yes, Sasha came. I'm telling you, I'm tired. Listen, you're on a sober head. Different thoughts come. It didn't work out well with you somehow. Grimoff, you, you came here to tell me that, didn't you? I want to help. How can you help me? I saw your son. Cool kid. Here I took a couple of photos. I think you'll be interested. Sasha. Sasha. Oh, my God. How handsome he is. What an adult he is already. Listen. Tell me, do you recognize her? This. It's not. This is the sky. I'm sure. I'm telling you for sure. I said it then, and I say it now. It's not emo. Maybe the angle is wrong. What kind of angle is this, Grimoff? It's another woman. Grimoff. Grimoff, find out who she is. Grimoff, you have to find out who she is. What am I like now? SOV, you're better. You. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
You have to help me. I promise. I promise. There is no coffin anymore. I'll do, I'll do everything. What are you hiding? Nothing. Show me what you have there. It's personal. And we have everything here. Give it here. We don't have an art gallery to look at pictures. Ursa, don't. Urza, what are you doing? This is my son. Remove. You remember, you're always on duty with us. Sasha. Yes, I think we need to promote Grandfather to a house somewhere by the sea. Nice or Italy. Yes, at least I can relax and take a break from him and from this child. And these guards are everywhere. You can't take a step without them. Yeah. Yes, well, of course you're pretentious. But no personal life. Well, you know. Yes, I think Italy is better. They say Italians are the best lovers in the world. Don't worry, you can come sometimes too. That's it. I have to go. Instead of a tip, you can finish my wine. Hello, hello, it's me. Listen, can you punch your fingers for old friendship? Hi there. How are you? I've looked at your tests, you're on the mend. Why didn't you tell me you were expecting a baby? Alechka, you won't tell anyone. Please, I'm begging you, just don't tell anyone. Who is the father? The head of the colony. No, it's not him. And who else? Is that why he called you to him so often? And I'm asking you, don't. He's a very scary person. He's going to kill me. Sinechka, listen, I'm telling you that no one will kill you. If necessary, I will live here. I'll sleep next to you. Then they'll kill me. What is this? She fell. Honestly. Who came to see you? What did they want from you? Nobody. No one came. Me. I myself decided that an abortion would be better for everyone. 
Blue tit. What kind of abortion? What are you talking about? Don't even think about it. Listen to me. A child is the best thing a woman can be. Don't even be stupid. I'm protecting you. Don't be afraid. I'll be there. I'm linking. I will protect you. No one will touch you. What kind of abortion? What? Stupid. I'm going to the boss. Why are you here? Valentina knows everything. What do I know? That tit is pregnant. Who told you that? She didn't tell you. No? What a fool. Are you pregnant by any chance? I'm not. So Valentina knows everything. And who knows the father? We have one man here. Damn it. That's just what I needed right now. Tell the tractor to come to me. Only urgently. The man is alone here. Hurry up. Grandfather, why are you crying? Just like that. I remembered it sadly. You said men don't cry. Well, when there's no one, sometimes it can. I know who it is. This is my dad. Yes. Mom told me about him. He died in a car accident. You told me right, didn't you? And who was to blame? He himself. No, it wasn't his fault. And the one who was to blame, was he punished? No. Why? A difficult question. I'm thinking about it too. But he will punish. I promise you. He will definitely punish you. Well? I will be glad to receive you. I don't care. Don't be afraid. My hand is light. I don't give a damn. Sinechka, what are you doing? Go away. What happened? Go away. I don't want to see you or anyone. Go away, I beg you. Get out of here. Go away. Get out of here. Hush, 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 hush. Be quiet. Be quiet. Never will be. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's all your fault. What's the matter? You killed your own child. What are you talking about? You ordered the chickadee to be killed because you got her pregnant. I can order you to be killed, too, if you don't stop sticking in your nose where you shouldn't. What did you say? Well, I'm sorry. Overreacted. I blurted out not at home. That's what I understood. You're a medic, aren't you? Come on, I have a conversation with you. Have you thought about what you will do when you finish your term? I didn't think. Or maybe you'll stay here. We need a nurse. You need to finish sitting at the beginning. I have business with you. Do you want to go to the city? I'm going to the city. Yes. Yes. You'll get your meds at the base. You'll take the tests to the hospital. Can I really go to the city? So I wrote out a document for you. Time will remain, you will take a walk in the city, eat ice cream. Won't you run away? I won't spec. Look, I believe you. Don't let me down. There's a car there, she'll take you. Open it. Hey. And I trusted you so much. And you took and arranged an escape. Now we'll add a deadline for you. Go ahead.
Yes. Hello, Gramoff. I managed to find out where she was born and grew up. Reset the address? I'll guess. Judging by her manners, she grew up in a royal palace. Yes. Where were 200 servants and golden dishes? Almost guessed it. It's a damn hole in the damn province. Will you go? Can you borrow a car? Sorry I'm late. Just such traffic jams. Bring him some water. A cup of Anechka. What's new? Well. We did everything as you asked. Deadlines due to the escape have been added. That's not enough anymore. I want this Sechka to never bother me or my son again. Don't worry, she won't bother you for a long time now. You're not listening to me. I said not for long, but never. That is, you want to. Yes. We agreed on something completely different. And I understood. You'll get more. I'll try. I won't try, I will, and quickly. And then suddenly I'll hint that you had something to do with the murder of Igor. Me? You know, I'm in general. And you know, he won't even check. Especially yes, very timely. He doesn't need water, he has no time, he has an urgent matter, doesn't he? Well, yes. Good afternoon. It took me a long time to get to you. If you need a room, you can at least occupy the entire second floor. No, thank you. Tell me, do you know this girl? Of course I do. Once she made a fool of herself. You. I just don't understand who it is. Well, do you recognize it or not? You won't know right away. They're sisters. Does she have a sister? Well, I'm telling you. Emma and Ella are twins. Very similar. Similar, very much. Only Emma was a good girl, obedient. I love children, dogs. And Ella. Yes, but she loved money. I couldn't stand dogs. She is this. She started coughing. Are you allergic? And she is the one. Then she got in touch with the bandits, then they robbed the store. Then she was put away. Then he released it not because he was young. Tell me, don't you have a random photo? Just make sure they are in the photo together. Well, of course there is. I have a lot of such photos. I've practically raised them. Tell me, please, do you know how to distinguish them? Very necessary. You can't tell from the photo. Now, if they were standing here in front of me, I would distinguish at once. Well, anyway, I'll get it for you now. And then we'll see what happens. Come on, what are you waiting for? Do as the boss ordered. And I'm my own boss. If you're on your own, what's the joy of killing me? I didn't cross your path. What if you interrupted me? What did I interrupt? By finding out that Tit is pregnant, or by finding out who the dad is. 
and you can't be trusted. You stole the child. My child was stolen from me. You? What are you doing here? And someone needed my son, and they just took me out of the way. You have to tell me everything. Who stole the child from whom? Well, keep in mind. I'm teaching. Where are you telling the truth, and where are you telling me the truth, okay? Clearly. I worked as a midwife in a maternity hospital. There the girl was admitted in a serious, powerful condition, barely gave birth. I pumped it out later. Then she disappeared, the son stayed. Yes, children are some kind of punishment. But the child is my insurance against poverty. Do you understand? Take your dog, please. Well? You'll see, it's disgusting. Oh, it's not yours. For God's sake, I'm sorry. Idiot. From me. Maybe you'll take it for free. He's so cute. Anyway, I'm here now. And this woman has my son. He probably doesn't even know that I am. What's for the meeting? Yours? Mine. Ripped off? No. No. I do not know such a word. Three days in the punishment cell. I tore it off. I won't. Ten days in the brig. Hey, does your throat hurt so much to punish? Did you want to go to the punishment cell with her? The lawlessness zone will not tolerate. Are you threatening me? I'm not. And if the whole zone rises, are there enough punishment cells? You're going to regret this. You'll all regret it. We solved the riddle with these fingers. And how did you guess that it wasn't one? Female intuition. Do you have a woman's intuition? No. My contribution was limited only to photographs and dog hair. What are you, delirium tremens? No, I don't drink. I can breathe. And who is this? I went through the case later. Listen, the authorities will ask the question, why did you request an old case? Especially for petty theft and also in the deep province. Yura, I'm helping out. Come up with something yourself. I ran, okay, I'm in a hurry. Thank you. The waiter. It looks cheap. I already have one. What the? What is this? In this you will walk in jail. Who are you? It doesn't matter. It matters who you are. You're not Emma. You are Ella. What? Here, look through it, it will be interesting. I'll call you tomorrow. They're coming. Welcome back. Thank you, girls.
thank you. What kind of people are you after all? Good ones. Don't be offended. I'm sorry that we love you. We thought you were running to the boss to knock. Do you want me to kill him? About what? <laughs> Competently blinded, nothing to say? You can keep it, I have more. Aren't you afraid? Who? I came an hour earlier to see who you're bringing with you. What if an accident happens to you? An accident or you'll fall off the bridge. The original is in a safe place. If this daddy falls on your grandfather's table, you won't have long to live. So there is not the most interesting thing here. How did I kill Igor? Really interesting. How? The main thing is why. Yes, by mistake. I asked my old friends to kill my sister. I wanted to marry Igor instead. And these idiots of Igor. In general, I had to come up with the whole story with the child on the go. What an evil irony of fate. Now the grandfather pays for all the whims of his son's killer. How much money do you want? No, I don't need any money. You will bring Alexander back, and that's it. No. Kid, that's the only reason they keep me in my grandfather's house. What happened? My son was stolen. How was it stolen? You're on guard all the time. Where were you looking? He thought it all out. He changed into a clown costume. And then they jumped around. Jumped into the pool with balls that are without water. They dived. Not all of them have disappeared. And there was you on the carrot. There should be a recording from video cameras. We'd all be watching. We looked everywhere, there's nothing there. He's there in Grem. Well, never mind, he'll call soon and demand a ransom. Already called. He demanded two million dollars in cash. So, let's make a deal. I did it with my own hands, didn't I? You can't risk my son, and to your grandchildren it is. I will personally give him the money, but as soon as Alexander is in a safe place, I will simply tear him up. He demanded that I do it. And saliva together. Do you understand how dangerous this is? Yes. For the sake of my son, I am ready for anything. Finally came. I want to tell you a story. Far, far away in the province, two twin girls were born. They were absolutely similar on the outside, completely different on the inside. One is kind, and the other is evil. The first sister's name was Emma. Emma was a good girl, but very naive. She believed she had found her prince. Handsome, rich she even gave birth to his son but he left her the second ella ella is greedy envious as expected i got into bad company and even ended up in prison for a short time all fairy tales end when good defeats evil 
But in life everything is completely different. The evil sister kills the good one and takes her son for herself. Thanks to this, he lives in luxury. What a nightmare. I told you it wasn't Emma, that Sasha wasn't her son. Yes, she needs Alexander only for the sake of money. He's just a bargaining chip. Grimoff, tell me. How will this fairy tale end? Ella will get a lot of money and disappear forever. You will be released soon and you will be together with your son. Do you have any proof? Of course there is. I'm a detective. They are in my hiding place at home. And if anything happens to me, you know where the key to the hiding place is. Please, let nothing happen to you. Everything will be fine. Why do I need a limo? I don't like it anymore. I don't like it either, but I'm silent. We're going to play a game now. With you. You've never played with me. I ordered a clown. I don't like clowns. I like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are over, all extinct. And there were only clowns. I don't like it. I don't care what you like and what you don't like. Shut up. I'm your mother. You will do everything I said. Did you order this one, clown? He's disgusting. Now you're going to come out and do whatever he says. Is this such a game? Yes. We'll play as if he stole you and I bought you from him. It's a strange game. I don't like it. That's it. Come on, go, or you'll get it. There is no grandfather here. There is no one to protect you. Come on, come on. Hello. Hey, baby. I'm not a baby. I'm Alexander. That means a winner. But I know. Well, come with me, winner. Is mom coming with us? And mom will join later. A strange game. But it's very interesting. Come on. The game is getting a little more interesting. Now it will be even more interesting. Class. And how to understand who won? Good question. Let's go to this entrance. Now it seems that's it. Cool. We won. It was only the first half. What is time? 
We have passed the first level. And how many levels will there be in total? Nobody knows that. That's right, I remember you. You're that professional drunk. I knew. Yeah, you smell better now. Thank you. Well, shall we go? Is this your robber's game? Yes. That's what she is. Wow, I'm like for real. I think I'm out and I'll play. You can't give up so quickly. I want to give you one magic amulet. Class. And what does he know how to do? It protects against evil people. Just never show it to anyone. Even mom. Especially mom. If anyone sees him, he will stop acting. I get it. You know how to keep secrets. I love mystery, especially scary. I do not know if you will understand or not. But try to remember. Ella is not your mom. Well, clown. Did you want to beat me? I agree. A draw. No. I enjoyed playing with you. Me too. Take the kid away. It's too early for him to see it. Bye, drunk. Bye, winner. Have you ever played robber detectives before? Come on, sit down. I warned you, Valentina, the Falcon is a dangerous place. I've learned that. I mean, your guardian angel won't help you anymore. I wonder who you're talking about. Do you have several of them? I'm talking about your drunk detective who came to you on a date, brought photos, promised something. And what about him? And he left you. Betrayed, took the money and ran away. And forever. I don't believe you. You may not believe me, but no one will get you out of here now. The deadline will end. I'll come out myself. Well, we'll see about that. Maybe you should extend the deadline. And then extend it again. I'm patient. I'll wait. The place colony is very dangerous. Anything can happen. Not everyone here lives to the end of their term.
What happened? I'll run in. What did you say? I can't stay here. Did he threaten you? He said that no one could protect me here anymore. So I can. We will all protect you. I give it again. Thank you, Yurza. But if the boss decides to remove me, you can't do anything. I'll help. Help me. Help me escape. We'll run away together. There's a place in the fence. Parcels are sent through it. Without inspection. Just need to distract everyone somehow. When? What's next? Also different. In different directions. We'll get to the city one by one. What about these clothes? She's on it. Listen. Well, steal clothes. What do I need to explain? Put it on the bus. Hitch a ride. Here's the phone number if he wants to call me. If I have to, I'll get you out of the ground. Is that clear? Thank you. Stop being so tender. They scattered. I told you not to call this number. It's urgent. We have an emergency. What happened? A strong fire. Almost the whole colony is talking. What does it matter to me? Although it would be possible to deal with Valentina under the guise. Is that what you wanted to say? Not really. I wanted to say that Valentina ran away. What? Yes, several other people escaped with her. I think they deliberately set it on fire. Hello, can you hear me? And instead of catching them, you call me? Yes, I'm undermining your arms and legs, and then I'll get to the pens. What did you take money for? Yes, we will solve everything. Just don't call you know who. Why would I cover for you? He wanted to, he'll find out soon anyway. Well, fine, but let him find out after we catch them. It's good that Valentina is free. Really? Yes, so it is much easier to deal with it. You never know what might happen to her at large. There, I don't know, a car hit, a brick fell on my head. And most importantly, no one asks unnecessary questions. She ran away. No, don't hide the baby. She will come for him sooner or later, and so it will be easier to capture her at the scene of the crime.
Calm down. Calm down. I'm a friend. The car. Quickly. Quickly. Why are you still wearing prison clothes? I don't have any money, I can't steal. Why are you helping me? I am Gromov's friend. Are you aware that it's not just the police who are looking for you? Who else? Police for jailbreak. Grandfather's people, for kidnapping a child. There are also bone crackers on the BMW. These are Ella's people. Haven't you seen them? No, I haven't. Where is Gromov? Unknown. Probably killed. The head of the colony said that he had sold me and left. But I don't believe it. Which is quite a possible option. He could have leaked all the dirt. Ale. Gromov came to me. He said he had documents in his hiding place. I know where this stash is. I want to go there, check it out. All right. I'll drive you. Thank you. I'll give you some money, buy yourself some clothes. Thank you very much. Just keep in mind. I won't help you anymore. I understand. You've already done so much for me. So there is not the most interesting thing here. How did I kill Igor? Really interesting. And how? The main thing is why. Yes, by mistake. I asked my old friends to kill my sister. I wanted to marry Igor you instead.
Alice Kepka. It's me. Yeah, I'm in trouble. You're fast. They're looking for you. Everyone is looking, not just you. Sliver, can you help me? I'll try. What do you need? I need to hide on the guys. Okay, I'll help. I promised you. I'll call you back. Okay, thanks. Where are we going? To a safe place. You asked for it. Yes, thank you. Only the police are after you. No, two more guys in a black car. I do not know who they are. If you don't want to, you don't have to tell me. I also really don't know who they are. And I know what they need. Thanks, I only need a couple of days. What will these couple of days decide? I have to hand over the documents to one person. What documents? Which prove my non-identity. All right. We're here. A friend, daddy. What is it? Collect everything. I don't need anything. Give it to me, Sasha. Why do you need it? How is that? Why? That's the only reason they keep me in the house. The whole combination was invented because of this. You killed his father. Not just him. I killed my mother too. Emma was your own sister, weren't you sorry? Not a bit. Her parents loved her. But I'm not. Considered angry, envious. Even if that's the case, how can you not love a child? Don't you like it, Sasha? No. That's not true. I love him very much. I appreciate it. He is my credit card. My breadwinner. My insurance. But you understand that sooner or later everything will be revealed. And when will it be? I'll be very far away by then. And with all his grandfather's money. For the sake of money, everything is ready, right? Of course. What's next? The folder with compromising evidence will be destroyed. You too. What will happen to Sasha? For now, everything will remain the same. But don't doubt it. If I have to, I'll kill Alexander. As they say, nothing personal, just money. Show me, you beast. And you're almost a saint. And what did it give you? Burn the folder. Kill her. Clean up all traces of yourself. Not in front of me. Finish her.
Yurza. Who did you expect to see? A guardian angel. No. I imagine guardian angels differently. And you, it turns out, are not adapted to life at all. You were almost killed in the zone, the same thing happened outside. Yes. It is unclear where it is more dangerous. So what are you going to do next? I need to pick up my son. How do you imagine? Well, what doesn't he know at all? How old was he when you broke up? Yes. I hadn't thought of that. What to do? Well, what about it? It is necessary to get acquainted with the child, make friends, get used to it, or something. I have a difficult situation right now to get used to. And how do you, how do you imagine? Hello, your mother has come to see you. Do you want the child to start stuttering? You're right. How are you, anyway? Nothing normal head crumbles only. Have you eaten anything today? No, I was eating. Oh. Okay, let's go to my place. I'll feed you dumplings. What kind of dumplings? I need to see Sasha. Yeah. To starve to death in front of a child, right? Mom, will you call this clown? Why? I want to play robber detectives with him. Will you call? No. Why? Are you sorry? I fired him, and for good. Don't you ever play with me. And now you don't want to call the clown. Stop whining. Got it already. Here's a toy store for you. Go play. And you? And I have to go about my business. That's it. Go. What are you doing? If Mishka could talk, he would cry like that. And what does that mean? It means that he is in pain. Here. Look. I have a stream. Why? And we'll tie up Mishka's paw. I can't. I'll teach you. Here. Here you go. Tie it up. Be careful not to hurt the bear. It turned out well. Great. When you grow up, you can become a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. Why? They earn little. And who do you want to become? Millionaire or look for dinosaurs. Real dinosaurs? Alexander. Sasha. I'm sorry, please. Sasha. I'm sorry, I have to run. Me too. I'm here. Bye, Sasha. Women, I put on shoe covers. Oh, did you find out, or what?
Good afternoon. Why are you here? I'm sorry, Citizen Chief. Well, what kind of citizen am I your boss? Yakov Adolfovich, what are you looking at like that? Don't you recognize it? No, well, what is it? I really recognize it. What do you want? We need money. I thought maybe I could work here. Do you have any documents? Don't you know me well, Igor Andreevich? But you see, Valentina Ivanovna. The police came here. They said that you seem to have escaped. Yes. So, it won't work, yes. Maybe you can lend me some money then. Borrow it? And suddenly it will be regarded as complicity or, God forbid, complicity. Aren't we already accomplices? Let me call the police right now. Let them come and decide whether we are accomplices or not. Well? Don't bother yourself so much. Hi there, hi there. They told me you were here. Yeah, just don't tell anyone you haven't seen it. I'm already leaving. Vera, I have something for you. What? Where did you get this? From the archive. It burned down. Well, like the holder, the document did not burn. Natasha, if you need money, I can't pay you now. In what money? Thank you very much. Valya, the head doctor ordered it. Destroy everything, son. I thought it was Merzlikin. It's not your time. What do you think, Merzlikin takes money and doesn't share it with the head doctor? Yes, I know it is. Natasha, take it. What is it, Merzlikin's black bookkeeping? It says here who gave him how much and when. Well, yes. It's a bomb. The handwriting is disgusting, you can't confuse it with anyone. I hope it falls into the right hands. Don't even doubt it. Not both will get what they deserve. I'll even go as a witness. Thank you. Can I help you? No, thanks. By myself. I almost forgot. I wanted to ask you for some money. Again? Well, are you sorry? Well, I spend all day with the child. I should have at least some joy in life. All right. A little how much? I have unexpected expenses. You already said that last time. But it's just humiliating. Well, what should I ask for everything? For everything you need? You have the necessary girl, my girl. And even a little more. But that's not true. I don't have anything of my own at all. I have no savings, no guarantees. If something happens, I and the child will find myself alone on the street, a beggar. Remember, Sasha is my grandson. And as long as you're with him, you'll be safe and well off. What if something happens to you? And I made a will for him. And why on him? And if something happens to him, what will happen to me? I'll remember. If you let something happen to him, you won't need the money, my girl. I've taken care of that, too. That sounds like a threat. 
Well, I perceive how you got recognized. Don't you trust her? As long as Sasha is fine, you will be fine too. Is this your gratitude for everything I've done for you? Remember, if it wasn't for him, your foot wouldn't be in this house. Go study with your son. Sasha. 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 Hi there. Wow, you came. I came to thank you for healing my paw. Let's play. No. I don't want to play with you. Why? Because you didn't apologize then. And for what? In front of the toys you've scattered. I wanted to, but I forgot. But... then, goodbye. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Won't you come with me? Or won't you be with all the toys? I won't be with everyone. Alexander, where are you? I'm here. Go eat immediately. Well, where are you running? It's not good to be late, you know. War by war, lunch according to the schedule. Grandfather. Eh? Uh, and I have a secret for you. What are you? What's the secret? Mishka and I were talking. What are you? Did you talk to Mishka? Yes. And where? Over there, by the fountain. And what kind of bear? Well, the usual one. From the store. The one that Aunt Paul and I treated. You know what, let's have lunch now, and then we'll go talk to this bear. Okay? Yeah, come on. Only he's not there anymore. Yes? Just don't tell Mom. All right. What is it I don't need to tell? About a talking bear in the garden. What kind of talking bear? Yes, he lies everything. The kid doesn't have enough mom's attention, so he comes up with it. Are you implying that I don't do enough with the child? What should I hint at? You know everything yourself. Yes, I've come to say that we need to strengthen Alexander's security. Well, what happened? Do you remember that crazy woman who wanted to take it from me? Yes. Is she in jail or is her sentence over? No. She ran away. And where did the head of the colony look? I don't know. It seems to me that he is a traitor in general. We paid him so much money. Well, I'll order him to be castrated. That's right. Just do not forget to pay attention to the security of the house. Yeah. I'll do it right now. All right. Hi there. We are very glad to see you. Me too. Shall we play? Of course, we'll play. Do you want me to run away with you? Where to? To the very edge of the world. We'll be there just the three of us, and no one will bother us. Are we going to play the robber pigeons? Of course we will. We'll be detectives, and the robbers will never find us. Cool. I like this game. And who taught you how to play this game? One kind drunk. He dressed up as a clown. And we played as if he had kidnapped me. He said that he was a detective and robbers were chasing us. And then did you see this clown detective? He stayed in the entrance. And his mom fired him, and forever. Sasha, did he say anything else to you? He told me a secret. I have a real mom. Listen, can you describe to me exactly where you played? Do you remember this place? Yeah. According to Sasha, they played here somewhere.
an unfortunate place for children's games. Look, this. I don't like it. This is what it means that. He was killed, yes. Bullet holes. I knew he couldn't leave me. I knew he couldn't escape. Mom, my throat hurts. Don't just eat ice cream. Go eat something hot. I don't want to eat, I want to sleep. So go lie down. Why are you bothering me? I want you to feel sorry for me. So, either don't whine, or get out, lie down. There's your nursery over there. Come on, there are enough problems without you. Is that you? Hi there. Only we need to be quiet so that no one hears that I'm here. What are you doing? I want to change your clothes. Because you're all wet. Give me the pens here. And why socks? Socks I poured magic mustard. Come on. She will warm your legs. And I also brought you a magic drink. Here is honey and medicine. Here you go. Delicious. That's it. Now you'll wake up healthy in the morning. Don't go away. I can't stay. But I want Mishka to be next to you. You remember him, don't you? Come back tomorrow. I'll try. You don't have to treat me, let's just play. All right, I promise I'll come. Just don't tell anyone that I was here. All right? Good night. Grandpa, I recovered. Yes, well done. Will you teach me how to swim? Of course, only a little later. I have things to do right now. You go for a walk, and then we'll eat watermelon. Come on. Boy, faster than me. How are you?
are you? Drowned. You'll never drown. Why? Because I will always be there for you. And if I had drowned, would you have cured me? Of course, I would have cured it. He's all right. Wait. Wait. Come here, boy. Come here. How did you end up in the water, huh? I didn't play and there was no one. Where's your mom? Why isn't she watching with you? Home, quickly. Who are you? I'm a babysitter. I'm the babysitter from next door. I just heard him fall. Me. I met him as a child. He knows how to treat a bear. So you know my grandson? Yeah. He told me about you. About the talking bear. And we thought it was his fantasy. A very nice boy who often plays alone. Exactly. Tell me. Don't you want to become a babysitter? What did you say? I offered you to be his babysitter. And his mom won't mind? She doesn't do it at all. And what happened there? Nothing already. Where are you hanging around? Come here. Meet the new babysitter. I don't get to know the servants. See? She doesn't mind. Here you go. I found you a new boy. Tell me, where did you get this bear? I had the same one. Can I take a look? Of course they did. Thank you. Here you go. A drunk clown gave it to me. Remember I told you about him? Yes, I remember. And he also told me a secret. Ella is not my mom. I have a real mom. Yes. Will my real mom pass soon? Soon. Tell me, can I keep it for now? Of course, take it. Thank you. Can I also take your computer? All right. All right. In the meantime, lie down. You need to get some sleep, get some rest. Well, he says, what did you want to tell me so important? Do you want to find your friend who escaped from the colony? I know where she is now. Where? You'll never guess. Stop playing with me, we're not friends. Where is she? She's at your house right now. What? It can't be. Are you not lying? And the money? Excuse me, please, I'd like to talk to you. Did something happen to Sasha? No, more precisely, yes, but a long time ago, when he was born. I didn't understand. I'll explain now. I used to work as a midwife in a maternity hospital. A girl came to give birth to us. Alone, without a father, in a serious condition, in the rain. It was Sasha's mother. Ella? No. Her twin sister is Emma. Sister? Does she have a sister? Was. A couple of days after giving birth, she left the baby and escaped. And where is this woman now? She died, crashed in a car accident with your son. What about the baby? Adopted him. More precisely, I was helped to make documents that I gave birth to him. So I didn't understand. Is this your son or Igor? Sasha is Igor's son, but according to the documents, I am officially his mother. Ella. Ella. Ella is Emma's sister who has always wanted to live in luxury. She found out that Emma was dating your son and decided this was her chance. She killed her sister and took her baby. Why? to enter your house by the mother of your grandson. 
and you have all the documents for the child. They tried to destroy it. Ella put on a kidnapping act, set me aside, and I was put in jail. Did she kill Igor? Yes. More precisely, the people who work for her. Why would she do that? To be honest, it seems to me that Igor became an accidental victim. It's absurd. I don't understand anything. Do you have any proof? Yes. Show me. Come on. One person helped me. He's been following Ella for a while. He left me a video of Ella telling me everything herself. Here. I'll show it to you. So there is not the most interesting thing here. How did I kill Igor? Really interesting. And how, and most importantly, why? Yes, by mistake. I asked my old friends to kill my sister. I wanted to marry Igor instead of her. And these jerks and Igor. I had to come up with the whole story with the child on the go. Yes, what happens? I've been looking for Igor's killer for five years. And he's been living in my house all this time? It turns out like this. I'm really sorry. She escaped from the colony. She's the one who wants to steal my baby. What's your name? Emma or Ella? What has she already told you? You haven't answered my question. Who do you believe? But she's a criminal. I did time because you set me up. You did time because you wanted to steal my baby. And then I pull money from Igor's family. Well, you're still pulling money out of me. Valentina didn't ask for a penny. Are you reproaching me? If so, I'll take the baby and leave. Don't you dare touch the baby. This is my child and the law is on my side. The child is not yours, it is Igor's son. Of course it's mine. She wanted to adopt him. But only for the money. She doesn't even love him. Sasha was born to your sister, Emma. She's lying all the time. If Igor were alive, he would confirm everything. You killed Igor, didn't you? What? Did you kill Igor? Well, of course not. I loved Igor. I saw the video. After all, you're confessing to killing my son. But that's not true. Yes? Stay away. Now let's see if this is true or not. We'll figure it out. What are you playing without me? Come here. Let him go. There are weapons here. I'll figure it out myself. Let me get to the car and let me leave. Then we will exchange the child for two million dollars and forget about each other forever. I know what kind of game it is. This is a game of robber detectives. Shut up. This is not a game. We found out everything, right? Eh. This, this, it's all not true, yes? In my opinion, you've always told me the wrong thing. I've been lying all these years. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. And I, the fool, believed. Credulity is there because of the grandson. I'm getting old. I'll get sentimental. Stay away. I promise to strangle the murderer with my bare hands. I'll do it. You can't. Yes. Let's see now. Don't be afraid. She can't do anything to you anymore. Knowing him, she doesn't love me. That's because she's not your real mom. And soon my real mom will come. Soon. She's already there. And who is she? I'm your mom. Thank you, Andre. That's it, thanks. And what to do with the body? Get rid or call the police? Call the police. It was self-defense. Accepted.
Grandfather, did you hurt? A little. A little. It's all make-believe, isn't it? Of course it's a game. Make-believe. And you realized that you saved our lives today, didn't you? She has Sashki. Tell me, is your offer for me to be Sasha's nanny still valid? Well, why not? Be a babysitter for a while. Then we'll see. Nanny, can I call you mom? Of course you can. 